because of the luxury on my head. I actually... Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another Get Ready With Me video. Today's video is going to be a bit different because we're also going to be reflecting on the YouTube trip in general. I put up a questions, um, a questions poll on my Instagram, and I asked you guys. Um, and I asked you guys to ask me anything you'd love to know about the YouTube trip um, Any questions, you know what I mean? And you guys pulled through with the questions But before we get into that, the video is actually not about that Today's Get Ready With Me video is sponsored by Eunice Hair I want to thank Eunice Hair for sending me this beautiful unit We are about to unpack and unbox um, So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video Please stay tuned to see how this um wig installation is gonna go um if you're new to my channel hey what's up i'm salima like and i'm a youtuber and if you're returning you definitely definitely know what time it is okay let's get right into the video um before we unpack the questions let's focus on the hair because that is the reason why i'm shooting this video so the, today's get ready with me is sponsored by Eunice hair Eunice hair was really kind enough and generous enough to send me this beautiful, beautiful blonde unit, darling. We've got this little bag which has. Love it when they give me lashes. Just, I've really been struggling with putting on lashes. It has a pair of lashes inside, which are actually very nice. These are beautiful lashes. It has a wig cap. I always love these because I always run out of. And. We've got clips. I needed these. Mine was starting to go missing. And these ones are looking very much strong. They're literally stronger than the plastic ones that I usually get. Love that. And they fall. And then last but not least. Love it. I've got a dance. So that's what was in the small bag. Let's unbox it right now with you guys. Already we can see that the lace is looking great this is 20 inches and this is the eunice highlight urban brown lace frontal wig it is a loose wave as you guys can see um it's got a 13 by 4 lace frontal which i'm about to show you guys right now oh we are about to go blonde baby i know that's right this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig and this is already pre-plugged okay this is a 13 by 4 this is how a 13 by this is how a 13 by 4 looks like this wig is already pre-plugged as you guys can see let me show you guys can you guys see that it's already pre-plugged the lace is pre-plugged and um this is a 180 percent density wig okay let's get right into the video i am going to be putting on my wig cap right now i would definitely love to use the gluing technique for my wig cap however i'm just not sure i'm also going to be obviously answering your questions because i know you guys want to know the tea or just how my experience was Not sure if I can actually do this multitasking thing, but anyways, the wig has combs on the sides as you guys can see, and it also has a comb right there at the bottom. It has a piece of you know, for in case you want to tie your hair up, it has adjustable straps. It has adjustable straps so that you can secure your wig. So this is how I secured mine, just so you guys... Do you guys see how I secured it? Just so it's really tight. On. I know that's... Oh my god, I know that's right. Okay, I'm just position it however I want it to sit. 
This actually looks good. So like I said, I don't... Oh, what? I am giving everything I need to give. Okay, cool. So let's get right into the questions. And I am going to be obviously... Um, let me see. Oh, this looks so clean. I'm going to be obviously talking about the hair as I'm chatting to you guys and guiding you guys through installing this hair really clean. Oh, this hair is giving what it's supposed to give. Burn with my beautiful strong clips. <laughs> oh, they're so strong from my, my hot comb. Right now, what I'm gonna do is pull my hair back and I'm gonna go in with my mousse. And I'm gonna get right into um, the questions. So the first question was, was the house? So how was the house? I, before we even went into the house, can I please just, I'm gonna go in with my mousse. So before we went into the house, if I have to be completely honest with you guys, I had so much anxiety. Um, everyone knows this uh, because I didn't know anyone and it seemed like people who were there kind of had an idea about each other, have been together in one, like in the same room or something like that. So that made me very anxious that I actually didn't know anyone that was going to be there. Um, so... Um, yeah, but I, the minute I got there and everyone greeted me or I greeted them, um, I realized that actually this might just be a great time. So my overall experience at the house was amazing. I would do it over and over and over again. And you know, the minute you spend time with people and they become family, they start feeling like family. For me, that is it. That is top tier. Um, okay, so right now, since I've pulled back, and you guys can see that I've worked with my hot comb just to pull it back because we want the clean install, baby. I know that's right. I am now going to, I don't know if I should stick this first before I cut it off, but I feel like I want to cut it off first. How was the experience? And um, if given the opportunity, would you do it again? Yes, I would definitely do it over and over again. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. I would do it over and with the same people, with the new crowd. I do it over and over again. It is nice to be around other YouTubers. It's so different. I, to be honest, I really enjoyed every bit of it. Every bit. There's just I don't know, man. It's like we knew each other for me on my end. It's like we knew each other and I loved that for us. Uh, uh, why did Daddy G sleep with Sianda? What has that got anything with my experience at the house? Okay. Um, and also Daddy G didn't sleep with her. Not Sianda, Siam Tanda. Um, he didn't sleep with her. It's just he fell asleep in the bed. So um, there was nothing. He just fell asleep on the bed who do you think ate your pizza if you guys saw my vlog someone did eat my pizza and i confronted them about it but i was very chilled about it because to spray my glue on my rental um i know who ate my pizza because my sister told me i definitely know who ate my pizza um, but I was not mad about it. I just wanted them to say sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I really just wanted them to say sorry because that was my pizza. And I was planning to eat it in the morning. You know? But I was not mad at anyone. And I knew who ate it. <laughs> Even the first, the spokesperson, who was Zile, who I think also ate. Des did he also ate, but he didn't say. So a lot of them ate, but they were just, they just didn't say. But I was not mad about it. I was just asking so that I'd be like, hmm, you guys are nasty. I didn't even eat. But anyways, I was never mad about it. As you guys can see, I'm combing my hair back because I still want the clean install. Please do not forget that we comb back for a clean I'm going to lay this and continue answering your questions. Um, in terms of the curls, there isn't much work to do on my curls because I'm obsessed. Already they're doing a lot, so...
yeah i mean i did know who ate the pizza honestly i was just trying to get them to say sorry and like the way i don't know i just i i wanted to let them know that i knew they ate my pizza and it was someone's pizza that didn't even have dinner who got drunk faster um who actually did i would definitely say zile and just stay G, I think. Because in most cases, we were all drinking, we were all having fun. But for some reason, they just were having too much fun. <laughs> they were re Oh, my leg has um, pins and needles. They were really just having too much fun. It's like, how? Because we were there with you guys. How are you guys like this? You know, they just had the best time. And because their energy just... Their energy just threw off to us. And we also just enjoyed ourselves. It's crazy. Who did you talk to the most? I spoke to, um, let me think, I, most of the time, like the overall, to be quite honest, I spoke to Neil the most. Um, most of the time I was with her. If you guys could have seen in the vlogs, I was always with her. So it was definitely Neil. If it wasn't Neil, then it's probably my sister or Tato. Those are the most ones I'd usually be having a conversation with. But I also got a bit tight with Zile. But I think overall person that I really spend much like a lot of time with and I spoke to the most was Neil. Um who found the place? Siam Tanda, shout out to you, baby. Siam Tanda and Damase um found the place. Shout out to her. How much did you pay for the time you stayed? I don't know how much the overall amount was, but it was probably more than 10k, I think. It was probably worth it. I'm not too sure how much the fine. I'm not too sure about the finances, but it was a, a good amount. Um, it was probably more than 10k, definitely. Um, how much did you... Oh, um, how long did you guys stay there? We stayed there from Wednesday till Saturday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and then Saturday, people were checking out. And we stayed until Sunday, then Sunday we checked out. So, like, we kind of separated off from Saturday because people had floods to catch and people were leaving. We're just moving Airbnbs because we paid for a certain amount of days. And then, like, yeah, but we're still together nonetheless because we, people just ended up booking their flights for Monday instead of leaving Saturday or Sunday. Um, who was... <clears throat> Who was the most slow to get ready? Oh my god, I have to give it to Siam Tanda. Siam Tanda was the slowest person. I think she took the most time and I love that for her because you can tell when a girl takes her time, she really just wants things perfect. Um, Siam Tanda did take the most time to get ready. Which we're not mad about, girl. We're not mad about it, to be honest. Just Siam Tanda, we, I mean, cha, we waited for you. <laughs> We ate a lot i don't remember i don't even think a lot of us were eating during that trip to be quite honest a lot of us were just a lot of us were really just um i don't know who was eating we really never even got time to actually just sit together and the only time we usually sit together and actually ate was breakfast but i can't really recall who ate the most and i don't think I, I don't know. I don't even remember us eating, to be quite honest, because there's just so much going on. I'm going to put a bit of mousse on the potting. I love the middle potting. I will not change it. I'm going to stick to it so that I'm just cleaning it out. And I want to clean here as well by the frontal. Um, I'm going to go in with my hot comb and clean that out. Yeah, so I don't even remember us eating, to be quite honest with you. In most cases, we didn't eat... <laughs> Cause it was just a lot going on i don't think but we did try put in time to eat when we like when we got hungry we would like go to a restaurant um go to a restaurant and eat or something who was spending more money um i think we were all spending to some extent but i have to give it to tato because um sometimes when things weren't working out and payments needed to be made tato would be the one that made actually would pull through with the payments but however we all contributed where we could um because i remember we needed um because i remember oh ouch that is painful because i remember we needed drinks and stuff for our board ride and um i remember siam tanda and wutali went to buy the drinks 
and who and Clarissa. So sometimes we really did help each other out when it was necessary. We just did really because we're all together and we're just all a unit. I was using my hot comb to open up my pot and to make it straight and, and I obviously and also to clean out my lace so that when I do remove it um, there isn't any hair lingering around there however this is the beautiful hair my darlings oh my god if you guys are not obsessed with this then i don't know because this is definitely the hair i'm gonna rock for the next coming days so we're gonna wait for that to dry and then we're gonna go back in and work on the lace and cut it so let's gin um so who was spending more money so i gave it to tato ramperi because i feel like he did budget a good amount of money most of the time when things were just going off who was most quiet quiet i don't know if i should give that to me to myself or i should give that to um bongani bongani was also quiet um i don't know who to give that to i really don't know i don't know dennis dennis was quiet but i mean i think i'll give it to bongani i'm not too sure who was too quiet between them but i was also i had my quiet times so i'd be quiet as well so i don't know who to give that to who played a big sister role in the house um i don't recall having someone play a big sister role but i think it sounds sometimes 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 i think i'll give it to na lady because sometimes she kind of did but hardly though like that's what i'm saying like i don't know who played the big sister role. i think we're all just equal and at the same level who was the most cleanest i don't remember i don't remember going into people's rooms like that but i think all i'm gonna give it to all the hands <laughs> i'm gonna give it to all the hands because our rooms were always just looking good bed done in the morning we're ready we're ready for breakfast i don't know we just i don't know i i really don't know who's the most cleanest um but yeah how did y'all meet i met everyone at the house um except tato obviously but i really met everyone else at the house Who sleeps the most? Um, were people actually taking naps in between? Not that I recall. Oh, child. <gasps> I'm not coming back. It's not a train smash. I'm still going to work on the lace. <gasps> but girl, girl, do you see that? Do you see that, my darling? Okay, so every time when you are laying your lace and something like this happened, and something like this happens, do not panic. Just comb it out if you can. But don't panic. Do you guys see I'm combing it back? Do you guys see that? I'm literally combing it back because they're still a bit... They're not completely dry. So right now, I'm going to cut the lace. Who slept the most? I don't think there was anyone who slept the most. Um, who ate the most? Who ate the most i don't know we barely ate like i said who's your favorite guy um who are the guys my favorite i was not really familiar and used to dennis and bongani so it definitely needs to be between zile Honsi and i mean zile just the and tato but my favorite my ultimate favorite is obviously tato because you guys know like Tata and I are cool like that. We're literally, we're literally cool like that. Um, Tata and I are literally cool like that. But if we exclude Tato out of it, I am going to give it to Zile. Because Zile was literally my favorite. Every time I was around him, I was laughing. Like, um, not that, not that, um, not that just the DG wasn't my favorite, but... I was cool with him and he knows like I fucked with him high key so um, I just think my favorite definitely had to be Zile we literally went shopping together for a dress at like a place that sells like it's like long street I mean it's like small street um ugh, we just got along we could sit together that's what I mean but with just a GG I didn't get time to actually sit with him and just we shot but like you know what I mean like and he, oh my god, this is so clean. And he knows this because I was literally telling him, I'm like, I really fucked with you so much, but like, 
I, I mean, I don't know, like, oh, he just, just smile. You know, he's just such a happy person. All he does is just smile, mind his business, say something there and there, you know? And I'm just like, and I'm always just making sure he's fun. Like, just the DJ, I was always asking him, are you good? And like, I don't know, man, you know, I was very like, like, I, sometimes I try to understand him, like, look at him and try to understand what is going through his head, like, but I definitely, and he knows that I definitely fucked with him, so. But I'll have to give it to Zile if we had to exclude Tato. Um, okay, I'm just going to cut my lace. When cutting your lace, once again, take your time. Do not rush yourself. So you can cut it properly. You know? I put it into sections because I know that's going to work perfectly. You see, I section it out. And then, this is how the lace looks. It literally melted onto my skin. Obviously, you just need to lay it again. Oh my god, I am not mad about it. It looks too good. It looks too, too good, child. It looks way too good. See that? Come back. Come back before I lay it again. And I'm gonna lay it one more time. I'm going to do your questions again so we can wrap up. Why did my lady leave earlier and who was she not in good terms with? That has got nothing to do with me. I can't disclose it. Also, I think my lady made a video on it. So if you go check her channel, surely you can get a bit of insight about that. Um, who was your favorite housemate? It definitely had to be Zile. Zile was my favorite. Like, Zile was just a happy. Zile makes the whole room happy. So I'm gonna say Zile was my favorite. But if we had to put a second favorite person, it is definitely Neil because I don't know. We just got along. It's just crazy for me how we got along so well. And like, yeah, Mata. If you guys saw the video, we called each other Mata, and ever since that Mata was a thing, like we just really got along. Um, did y'all self? Did y'all see yourself doing a? Um, do y'all see yourselves doing YouTube for a long time? Personally, I feel like my fellow. YouTube of like the other housemates definitely did see my do see themselves doing YouTube full time. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really asked them. However, on my end, no, I do not see myself doing YouTube full time, and I am I want to work and you know so I definitely don't see myself doing YouTube for a full time. In terms of long time though, um yes definitely and also I believe that that they're also going to be on the YouTube streets for quite some time. Did everyone really get along? Everyone actually got along. I don't want to lie. We all got along. Obviously, we're humans. We're different. Our energies are different. And sometimes we can butt heads there and there or whatever. But we actually really just got along with each other, even though sometimes there were misunderstandings. But I do feel like above the misunderstandings, which is probably like two, um, I'm going to put it in my head that that was such a small percentage to how we actually got along. So yes, I'm going to say yes, we did get along. What do you think? Who do you think matched my energy? Um, the one person that actually matched my energy was Neil. That's why I'm saying I really got along with Neil really well. Our energies aligned and they clicked. The fact that you can even live with the place, we can live with the same person in a space, just the two of you guys, when you guys just met, because your energies just really get along and like, it's just so genuine and it just, because even us living together, it was never a thing of like, it just happened. We just lived together. We just started that, okay, we're going to get a place together. That was after the youtube house when we were all checking out so i like matter what okay who would you who would you like to chill with next time i'm definitely gonna link up with neil i would love to link up with sam tanda as well i think i also kind of got along with her really well um clarissa i did get along with her but we didn't really have like a lot of conversations together but um zelia of course i'd definitely link up with zelia again or you know and also Hunzi, man i really think generally like everyone that was there i would definitely be with i would definitely go out with them again um how was it like living with zile let me tell you living with zile was 
a breath of fresh air I, d I did not know how to call it it was a breath of fresh air it was someone who was genuinely just himself and someone who was just genuinely like not even trying to be funny but he was funny like i found his energy so refreshing i really really fucked with usually like he just made me laugh in the craziest way he'll turn my like the most serious stuff into jokes and i love that about him like i really do who did you get along with the most like i said now um are you entitled a thing like you declare no no i think there's a bit of a misunderstanding there tata and i are not a thing tata and i is my friend we're really good friends and i love him to bits how do you get to work with hair brand sorry i cannot answer this in another youtube video this is specifically the youtube house advice for blogging in public another video please did you genuinely like the way people were staying with do you genuinely like the people you're staying with and are you still in touch with them yes i definitely still talk to sam tanda and i still talk to neo and obviously tato um i genuinely do uh, like the people else all of them i really don't have any weird vibes or anything with everyone i really like everyone i was with it was just amazing in general okay so right let's get right back into the hair so i'm going to take this off the hair should be fine and laid or whatever the lace has melted no 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 I'm not sure if you guys can see this let me just zoom in a little bit the wig has melted oh my god Eunice here what are you doing what are you doing to your girlies? What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Eunice hair, there is no way, there is no way how Eunice hair needs to explain itself. How do I walk out in public looking like this? I don't think I'm allowed to walk in public looking like this. I really didn't have to do so much to this hair and it literally looks so great. Cool. let's just quickly wrap up the questions um because there's still a bit um so the next question oh guys i'm so obsessed with this hair oh my god please look at the color please look at the texture of the hair how the lace melted into my skin i love this wig it's so beautiful it's so bouncy i didn't have to do so much to like install it all i had to do was install it i didn't even need to do anything to the curls the curls are just the way that they are they are beautiful it is oh my god this is definitely giving i don't know this is giving this is giving beyonce this is giving i just woke up and all i'm gonna do is just run my hands through my hair and girl i'm ready to i'm ready to do whatever i need to do for the day oh my god Eunice, what are you doing oh um why was there a few of you why was there a few youtubers um others didn't qualify to be part of the reality honest 
I'm not too sure what the procedure was when it came to selecting the YouTubers to go into the house. So I really can't really comment. I really can't comment on it because I really don't know what happened or how they got to selecting. So yeah, my YouTube experience in general was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed being with the people there. I really had so much fun. I made new friendships. So overall for me, my whole experience was amazing. I would do it over and over again. Um, I would literally, I would do it over and over. I don't think you guys understand. We were really just didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to leave anyone. I didn't want anyone to go home. I really just want to stay around everyone because I felt attached already to everyone and just their energy. So it was really sad having to um everyone leaving considering that i'm staying in cape town so everyone was just leaving for home it was super sad but otherwise the youtube house was amazing and fully with my whole heart i love everyone that was there i really enjoyed being with everyone um and yeah and i guess that wraps up my questions about their youtube house really hope you guys enjoyed watching this installation video i absolutely love the hair unit's hair thank you so much for sending me such a beautiful unit i am overly overly obsessed with this unit i love the way it just blends into my skin i love the way it looks i love the way i am fully obsessed thank you so much for sponsoring today's get ready with me video um and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video all the details about the hair will be in the description box because i really and genuinely feel like you guys need to go get yourselves this unit because even installing it was easy like the curls don't even touch the curls just play with them because what they about see literally this is a luxury on my head i absolutely love this unit thank you so much once again to unis hair for sponsoring today's get ready with me video i'll see you guys in another chit chat get ready with me video i love you guys so much ah.